Now that we know how the field is set up, we know the different positions, uh, let's take a look at how you would start a game. And that is with a kickoff. So let's take a look at how you do a kickoff. Uh, there's a few different times throughout the game where you would have a, a, a kickoff. And as I mentioned, the first one then would be at the beginning of the game. So at the beginning of the game and then at also at the beginning of the, of the second half. Um, if you remember, the game would be divided into four 15-minute quarters. At the end of the first quarter and the end of the third quarter, the teams just switch sides, but the team um, who is on offense at that point will remain on offense. Um, but after halftime, um, after the, the intermission, um, at the, after the second quarter, then we would begin the, the third quarter of the second half with a, another kickoff. Um, if there is an overtime, uh, then that would also be a point when we would have a kickoff. Uh, we would also have a kickoff after a touchdown, and it wouldn't be right after the touchdown, it would actually be after the uh, either extra point or the two point conversion and then after a successful field goal so if you remember from the, the field goal or the scoring video if a team misses a field goal the team that was on defense at the time that the field goal was kicked will actually become the offense and they will take over the ball uh, right where it was right at that uh, line of scrimmage but if the team does uh, make the field goal then they would um, kick off to the other team. So let's take a look then. How does these kickoff things work? So at the beginning of the game, as well as the beginning of this, the second half, the ball will be placed um, on the 35-yard line. And the, the, the players will line up. We would have our, our kicker would be, um, of course, the, the central guy involved here. And then we would have um, all the other uh, players on the team. So again, there would be 11 players out there on both teams. Um, I won't draw them all, but they would have some on one side, usually some on the other side. And then, of course, we'll have our defense, and they'll be standing down here waiting. And there's usually either, um, either one or two uh, guys who are deep right around the goal line to receive the ball and then of course uh, we have all the the other um, members of that the receiving team uh, you cannot uh, block a kickoff you can only come within in 10 yards of that kickoff so the defense isn't allowed to go or the receiving team isn't allowed to go uh, beyond 10 yards in front of the where the ball is so we have all our players here. The team, uh, the kicker will run up, kick the ball, uh, and it will be caught then by the receiving team who will run as far as he can. Of course, these uh, guys here will run up, will try to block for him wherever he decides to run. And at the same time, these uh, guys on the team who kicked off, they will run down they will try to tackle or, or pull down uh, the guy with the, the ball, the guy who received the ball. And so then wherever that uh, would occur, that's where the first line of scrimmage uh, would be. And then the, these the X's um, would then become the, the, the blue team would become the offense. If in the event the ball is kicked uh, so far, that it goes into the end zone. So it kick, gets kicked the whole way down here into the end zone, which is, is a fairly common occurrence nowadays. Um, and either the, maybe the, the receiver catches the ball and he decides not to come out of the end zone, or if the ball actually goes out of the back of the end zone, um, then this would result in what we call a touchback. And so a touchback means that there is no kickoff return and that the ball is simply um, placed 
at the 20 yard line and so the 20 yard line would then be the first uh, line of scrimmage uh, for the blue team uh, heading down the field. So let's take a look at a few pictures maybe that'll make more sense to you then so here's a guy or a kicker here for this white team he will be kicking uh, the ball off um, down the field and then you can see probably even better in this this photo that the, the white guy uh, the guy on the white team here is has kicked off um, down the field here's all his uh, guys on his team and so all ten of them will run down as well as the kicker uh, to run down and try to tackle the guy who is has received the ball and is running back and so that then is how kickoffs work.